biomechanics is how is your body meant to move naturally, the mechanics of your body. The sport of Supercross has come a long way, as we know, with the bikes, the equipment, and the level of training the riders are doing today. A lot of that is due to the fact we're able to collect some state-of-the-art data. We've partnered with some of the world-class biomechanics research facilities to understand how the rider's body is moving on a motorcycle. We've collected data on muscles with an EMG machine. We've done a kinematic pressure suit, and we have overlaid that with video footage and GPS data. And from that, we can extrapolate any answer to any question that we come up with. And then we can translate that into products or updates or race-specific equipment. So this is Joey Savacci in Florida. And you can see here that, you know, as Joey hits the whoops or jump or bump or whatever, his avatar is doing the exact same thing. And from this data, we can tell your foot is in this position in this instance, but your body is creating these forces, meaning that something's not right. Boot's not working right. The body position on the motorcycle may not be right. Maybe it's a change to the gear. Maybe it's a change to his riding style. So the sensors we put in the boot measure 99 locations of the footbed and they measure a thousand times a second. You can see the purple is the high pressure, kind of red ranging down to the yellow, green, and then black where it's low pressure. And on the right side, you can see he's heavy pressure on the heel and kind of a little bit on the ball of the foot. Maybe that's where he's hitting the brake hard or dragging the brakes. And then we can translate that potentially into maybe a boot hinge or a sole compound. It depends on what the problem is. It can be literally anything. One of the things we measured was your muscle performance by collecting the electrical pulse that your muscle makes when it contracts. So what we did is we wired up our riders uh, and we'd put them in a chair and we'd have a couple engineers and some test guys hold on to them and make the riders flex as hard as they can. And that is assumed to be 100% of their muscular capacity. But what we're seeing is when the rider is riding on the track, they're hitting four to eight times higher than what they can do in a controlled environment. 